you ready to get lucky? Yes, 777 is coming on July 7th, 2023. And this once in a lifetime portal event is going to bring you some fresh new waves of energy and opportunities. So get ready to hit the jackpot. You've probably heard that cultures and religions across the world have deemed the number seven and 777 a very auspicious number. And there's a reason for this. So in this video, I'm going to break down the number meaning, the energy forecast of the event, and I'll share a brief channeling at the end and even cap it up with a good luck 777 activation to bless you all with the most potential love, abundance, and wealth you desire. Let's start with the meaning of the number 777. Well, first, numbers hold a vibration or code upon which the entire universe is built. And that's why we see synchronicity happening and certain numbers pop up over and over again as if the universe is trying to communicate with us. Well, because it is. What is the code language of 777? Well, first, let's look at the number, the repid digit or mono digit as it's called which is a number composed of three repeated instances of the same digits in a row. So 777 is a master number, an angel number, a palindromic number, and a lucky number. It's a master number because the number repeats three times over, three being the symbol of the Trinity or of the full cycle of birth, of life and death. Then it repeats with the resurrection. Now, what are you mastering this lifetime and at this time in your life? You may want to ask yourself around the 777 portal because you can get a positive boost in your life purpose energy and what you are doing not only in this lifetime, but beyond as an infinite eternal soul. It's an angel number, which means some people think this is a divine message coming to you from the universe or from your guides, your angels, your higher self. Which is why when we go through a spiritual awakening, we may be greeted over and over by 11, 11 a.m. or p.m. with a message. Or we may be downloading some deep spiritual wisdom during a meditation and glance up and that clock says 444, for example. So this palindromic number, also known as a numeral palindrome, is a number such as 16, 461 that remains the same when its digits are reversed. This is a number of deep reflection, deep spiritual mastery, where there is harmony and mirroring from within ourselves, from our heart to our upper crown chakra, all the way down to our root. 777 is famous, of course, for being lucky because the number refers to a triumph of God's number, seven over the devil's number, 666. So really, it's not just a lucky number for money. And the jackpot, it's really about spiritual mastery and connects us to the seventh chakra. So let's talk more about this master number of mastery, as I call it, because 777 relates to this spiritual crown chakra, this seventh chakra, which represents us tapping in not only to our own higher consciousness, but also into our collective consciousness, which could be also called our spiritual awakening, our Christ consciousness, the logos of the universe, spiritual awakening, enlightenment. In Judaism, under the Hebrew tradition, numbers three and seven are both considered perfect numbers. And so we have these three sevens. This is a super perfect master number. In Christianity, according to the Orthodox Study Bible, 777 represents the threefold perfection of the Trinity. This is everywhere. It's also found in the book of the Lima 777 was the title of the book and was connected to the Kabbalistic writings and teachings of Aleister Crowley. There are even buildings built such as the 777 Tower at the address of 777 South Figueroa Street in the financial district. Those that have large sums of money will always use things like the Kabbalah and number code and number magic astrology, even though maybe they don't want us to know about these things, we are finally waking up and using these master level tools. And that's what this day is about. It's returning our mystery school wisdom, all of the knowledge and books that were burnt in the schools of the ancients that buried these ancient wisdom traditions. We are rising and connecting the dots between each of our crown chakras. 
What is your unique message, your mission? What is your wisdom? If you were to add your droplet to the entire bucket of the consciousness on this planet and in this galaxy, what is your unique medicine? What are you here to share with the world? How are you living it now? How are you not living it yet? And how would you like it to go? Spend time journaling on this day and in preparation for this day, as you may want to sit in prayer, visualize, and even start taking action towards your spiritual goals and purpose. Intention is not only about our own spiritual mastery. That's certainly the foundation of it, just like the rose has its roots in the earth. But to not have our purpose is to not be called towards the sun. So we have to give back. We have to express ourselves. All of the chakras are equally important on this path of sovereign illumination, enlightenment. Our crown chakra being open asks for us to be sharing our spiritual gifts, to be speaking our spiritual truth, to be even grounding in our root ch chakras, making our financial abundance and wealth and living in full alignment with our spiritual truth. So if we are sacrificing one aspect of ourselves, if our root chakra is blocked, if we're living in poverty or if we're not speaking our truth and we're making millions of dollars by selling stuff we don't actually believe in or align with anymore, then we'll want to correct this course in order to live in our 777 mastery. And we have a super powerful full moon happening in Capricorn on July 4th, which is the initiation just before 777 into the Sirius Gateway. So I'm going to be sharing more about the exciting energy, the astrology, the energy codes that are flowing through that you can tap into. And I will also put in the 777 Abundance Good Luck activation in my upcoming video. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and join us live on the full moon in Capricorn on the 3rd of July. That is Monday, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is an incredible gathering for smart, spiritual women. It is for you if you're looking to awaken your love codes, bring in more divine feminine energy, all things Aphrodite, wealth, womb wisdom, moving your hips, feeling more pleasure, feeling more fertile in your life, in your blissness, in your relationships as a mama, as a, a person that is here to build the new earth. So click the link below and I'm going to put in a special coupon code 777 portal that is available until the portal closes. So don't miss it or until spots run out. So I hope to see you live on the full moon. I'll see you in the next video and thank you so much for joining. Namaste. Namaste.